hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to show you how you can build a pid controller to control your pendulum model and how and i will show you a technique basically a technique that you can use in order to tune your proportional integral and derivative term until you get satisfying output or satisfying simulation results so let's begin by taking the output of our model which is theta in this case next i need to build my error so i will take the theta and let's in this example consider that we have a constant desired value of 10 degrees so 10 multiplied by pi divided by 180 next i will take the difference between these two guys so i'll add an add and then i will calculate the difference next this will be my error so this is my error now i have to build my controller so as i said before so a pid controller is composed mainly of three uh, main parts so the proportional the derivative and the integral part so the proportional top part is again multiplied directly by your error your derivative part is again multiplied by the derivative of your error so i'll take the derivative of my error and then i multiply this one by the gain next i need to take the integrator of my error and then i will get my integrator term next i need to sum up all this stuff so i'll take a sum 3 plus and then the derivative term the proportional term and the integral term so basically this will be my control input which i will make it the input to my system and now i will show you the technique so first you should zero out your derivative and your integral term and then let's try for example 9 a value of 9 for the gain to my proportional terms then I will go to the application and then I will launch a simulation so as you can see we have two major problems the first problem is the oscillatory behavior that we have right here and the second problem is the permanent error that we have between our measured state or our real state and the desired state which is 10 degrees so let's get rid of these two problems the first one is the oscillatory problem which could be resolved by adding a derivative term so let's try for example 10 as a derivative gain let's launch again a simulation so as you will see i will get rid of the oscillatory behavior however i will still got mm, got myself my uh, my permanent error between the final value and the desired value so to compensate all this stuff, we should add an integrator term. So let's go aggressive in this integrator. So let's try a gain of 20 for the integrator. And then let's launch another simulation. And so as you can see, we have with our three terms, the proportional, the derivative, and the integrator term, we managed in order and we, we managed to compensate all the remaining error between our state and the reference, and we have a satisfying result. So I will leave a link in the description so you can go to the GitHub website and then you can download all this stuff and you can try it by yourself. You can even try to uh, perhaps tune another model with different setting and try the same technique that I showed you in this video and then you can see how this will work to basically all the setting that you can try out in your case for example so to download the code you should you can download it directly using the download zip right here and in the next video I will show you how you can further improve the behavior of your system or the output using what's called a feed forward turn so thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next time thank you all